What's going on, guys? My name is Steve. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I'm just an American guy on a journey to discover my British and Irish ancestry. Today, we're going to be reacting to Britain's best full English breakfast. I've been really wanting to check out a proper full English breakfast for quite a while. I've been hearing a lot in the comments that I need to look into what a full English breakfast is. And also, this is one of the meals that I'm definitely recommended to try when I go to England for the first time. And considering it's called a full English breakfast, I'm guessing it's quintessential to the English culture. And so it's definitely one of those things that I kind of want to learn about and understand so that when I do eventually get to the UK, I will kind of understand what it is and will know what to expect when I try it the first time. Um, but this video was actually recommended to me by a subscriber and I thought I've been wanting to find a good video on a full English breakfast, but considering a subscriber from the UK recommended this one, I thought this is probably going to be a pretty good one to kind of get an overview of what a true, proper full English breakfast should look like. And also maybe give me an idea of where to go, because this is saying voted Britain's best. So considering this may be Britain's best full English breakfast, I may actually know of an actual restaurant to go to to actually get a full English breakfast that first time. So this should be really interesting. And maybe one day I'll be going to this very restaurant. Who knows? But before we get started, guys, I do want to update you guys on something that happened a few days ago. And that is that I found out in one of the videos a few days back that there was some sort of troll in the comment section uh, commenting under other people's comments with so, what's called WhatsApp app or WhatsApp or something like that. And they had a phone number there and they were asking for people to text them. And they had my picture on their profile. I've actually seen that happen on other YouTube videos before. I don't know. It's just, it seems like there's just some sort of trolls that are trying to get people to contact them, un making the people in the comments believe that it's the person's video they're watching, if you know what I'm saying. I just wanted to let you guys know that that wasn't me. I hopefully all their comments are gone now uh, because you know they were just trolling everybody, and who knows what they were trying to do if people did comment uh, contact them. So just know I don't know what WhatsApp is really. I've heard about it, but I don't have any experience with it. So if you ever see that on any of my videos, that isn't me. If you can, I'd appreciate it if you could let me know. If you do happen to see it, I I would try to you know take care of it and uh, get those people uh, to get their comments deleted or whatever because they uh, no one should be trolling people in the comments like that and trying to get people to uh, contact them under my you know picture or whatever. That's just weird. But um, but if I was going to contact you personally under a YouTube video. It will always be from my reacting to my roots YouTube channel, the very channel you're on now. So you can easily see that if you clicked on, you know, my name or you click on the person's name that commented, you should be able to go to their channel and you would very easily see that it was me or or not me. And uh, generally speaking, I don't usually go under people's comments asking for them to contact me back with a phone number or something like that, you know. Um, if I gave my phone number out, I would literally, man, it would, you know, it would be a uh, pretty busy times. Uh, but uh, yeah, anyways, guys, I just thought I'd give you a heads up. That wasn't me. So um, and, it, you know, I'm not the guy I don't use WhatsApp. So, uh, yeah. So anyways, guys, enough of that rambling. Let's go ahead and check out what a well, what Britain's best full English breakfast is. Now then, my friends, good morning. I am in Pudsey in Leeds in Great Britain. Leeds. And today's video is aptly called Britain's Best Full English Breakfast, All right. as voted by Her Indoors. Now, Her Indoors is a phrase that was used by Arthur Daly. Her Indoors Daly? What's Heard of him, Arthur Daly. On the TV series no Minder. And sadly, just recently, um, Dennis Waterman has passed away. Now, he played Terry McCann in the series, and uh, George Cole played Arthur Daly. And Arthur Daly always used to call his wife her indoors. Mr. Morley, her, in her indoors is a formidable woman. Very. Is she saying, oh, her indoors? Uh, I say it right here now. Okay, her indoors. I wonder what that means. I thought he was saying her indoors. But... And by the way, Leeds is one of those places I've heard about, but I've never looked into. 
What part of England? Obviously, I can go see that, but I'm just curious. What part of England is that in? Is that the north or the south? Be formidable. And I have a girlfriend called Sarah, who you never really see uh, in my videos. She lives right here in Leeds, and uh, lots of people have said, why don't you ever see her? Well, technically that's not correct, because she has been in a couple of the videos, and I'm sure uh, Lifetime viewers will put in the comment section down below which two videos that she's actually been in. However, let's get to the point, because over the road here is Old Booth Tea Rooms. Old Booth now, tea that room. is my girlfriend Sarah's favourite full English breakfast, literally in the whole of England. She said, why don't you film it? I said, well, I've filmed it before. However, I filmed it pre-pandemic and pre-lockdown. And I've said that a lot of places post-lockdown have not lived up to the standards that they did before the lockdown. However, that is so true. You know, it makes me think like I, I've noticed the quality of, you know, if you go out to eat somewhere, the quality is gone downhill fast. And I'm wondering if there's something about, um, you know, inflation has gone up, at least in America. I know it has in the UK too, uh, but I specifically only can judge America at this point um, that it's, I wonder if inflation went up so much that they are cu cutting corners on the quality of their ingredients, the quality of their food. And that's one reason. And plus it also seems like in America, it seems like everywhere is short on staff all of a sudden. And I'm like, it doesn't make any sense why everybody's short on staff and everywhere hiring, even though the economy isn't great. Uh, it's just weird. Um, but I definitely noticed something similar. Have you guys noticed that in whatever area of the UK or Ireland or wherever in the world actually that you're in now? This place, Old Booth Tea Rooms, literally is absolutely amazing. And I can vouch for what Sarah says. All right. However, what she says goes. So it is literally Britain's best full English breakfast. All right. We're going to mark it out of 10. I'm going to mark it out of 10. I want you guys to mark it out of 10 on Lux alone. I don't know what well, I'm looking for, but. Don't forget. I'll tell you if it looks it good. For Yorkshire. Do it for Yorkshire. Yorkshire. We're going to go in there, we're going to mark it out of 10, and of course, it's got to be Yorkshire tea, hasn't it? Now, this place really is, tea. With me, is something different. They literally do know how to do a full English breakfast. They do other things as well, and it's absolutely beautiful in there. As I say, it's called Old Booth Tea Rooms. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, click the little thumbs up for me. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. <music> That Dan, hold on, what's that? Dan Peace? Oh, there it is, the old, old Booth's Tea Room. That's pretty cute, man. That's actually pretty quaint and I like that. Now then, my friends, before we start, Old Booth's Tea Rooms get all their meat from right here at this butcher. Ah, I'm gonna go in, let local. them introduce themselves and just tell you a little bit more. There we go. So, apparently, Old Booth Tea Rooms get all their meats from you. They do. They do. They do. I mean, look at this. Proper butchers. This is brilliant. Give yourself a quick advert. Come on. Frankish Butchers in Low Town in Pudsey. Supply Booth Yard for over 25 years. Brilliant. What days do you open? Nice. We're open Monday to Saturday. And you're on Facebook. Yep. There you are. And Instagram. And Instagram. Fantastic. And it's down here, look. Looks like Fantastic. some good meat there. That's Thank it. you very much. All the best. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right, so there you go. They get all their meat Gotta love a from good the butchers, local butcher. which is literally right next door. So we're going to go in now, try out their full English breakfast and mark it out of 10. And boy, oh boy, I cannot wait for this. Proper meats, proper produce, and all from a local butcher's. What more do you want? <laughs> Some good desserts there. 
So is that is that kind of like a tea house? Right, I am actually super, super excited about this. Now, I have to let you into a little secret. Uh, I did come here again the other week. I come here all the time, actually, uh, with, uh, yeah, say, with her indoors. Her indoors. With Sarah, that's what she'll be known as now. That's her hashtag, her, in, hashtag her indoors. Her indoors. Name the two videos that she's actually been in. Anyway, let's get down to business. I mean, just look at this. A proper, proper teapot, a proper, Proper little a, tea cup there what as is well. that? And little muffin? A little bun as well. Look at that. What more do you want? Absolutely spot on. And I have to say, it does taste better when it's out of a teapot. Now, the controversy, I even look at that. Proper milk jug as well, because nothing is worse than them. Little plastic milk things. Right, proper yeah. Proper milk. Yeah, that's true. Proper. I'm going to get comments down below going, how many times did you say proper? Have a shot. But here we go. So I'm going to put. Ow. I've literally never seen so I've heard people put milk in tea, but I've literally never seen it happen in person. So, or even on video, really, that I know of. But I've heard people do it, and I, I'm guessing that's just something people do in the UK um, with tea. Um, here, generally, just tea is just tea by itself with nothing in it. I mean, people do obviously their their sweet tea. I don't, I don't really drink sweet tea. Milk in first, is that the correct way though? I think it is, milk first when it's a teapot. I've said this before, I'll say it again for the new viewers, comments down Yeah, below. milk and then pour milk. the tea in, the tea would uh, mix with it. Breakfast today. That makes sense. Uh, so let's have a read of this and see what we actually get on the full English breakfast here. Um, there we go, so full breakfast to serve until 11 a.m. And it's an English breakfast which is two Eshelbys, bacon, which is the butcher next door, uh, two Eshelbys sausages, Branston beans. Ooh, now that's beans, interesting. Yeah. That is interesting because I've always said, oh, Heinz, it's Heinz. And everybody keeps saying to me, literally I'd say probably 99.9% .9 of people say Branston beans are the best. Now I've never had Branston beans. So that is controversial. One fried egg, uh, one fried fresh mushrooms, fried fresh tomatoes, two slices of white or brown toast. And then you get a choice from tea, Americano, coffee or fresh juice. And that's £8.40. Uh, also... That's not bad. I can't think of exactly what the current um, exchange rate is with US dollars, but I'm guessing that's under $10. Uh, so that's, that would be, that's a pretty good price for all of that. Not bad. Um, wow. So sausage, a sausage bake. I'll just, I'll just wait and see it. A vegetarian breakfast which <laughs> before I say anything. Uh, does include uh, Linda McCartney's vegetarian sausages. Now I have to say, uh, I have had uh, Linda McCartney sausages before, and they are amazing. So there we go. Vegetarian anyway, sausages. Take a look at the teapot. Take a close look at the menu, uh, and then we'll come back and we'll uh, check out this full English breakfast. Voted I want to eat that muffin, one, man. That looks good. Best in Britain by her indoors. Her indoors. Let's we'll see these prices. Sorted fruit. Oh, these are hot. Wait. Okay, hot drinks. Okay. One pound ninety, two pounds eighty. Cold drinks. Okay. Best hot chocolate in Leeds. <laughs> Wait, that's four nine. Okay, that's a little bit. Woo! Oh, it says deluxe. Oh, okay. A plane is two ninety. Okay, that makes sense. Prices aren't too bad on this. Okay, there it is. Okay. Vegetarian breakfast. I'm looking at English breakfast. To Esch Eschelby's bacon. I don't. What is Eschelby? Is that was that the name of the butcher? Or is that is that some something else that I'm missing? Uh, Eschelby sauce. I'm guessing it's the name of the butcher. Is what I'm guessing right now. Sausages. 
Branston beans. So those are the baked beans, okay? Uh, one fried egg, fresh fried mushrooms, fried fresh tomatoes, two slices of white or brown toast, tea, Mary coffee, or fruit juice. All right. I'd take the fruit juice. Um, all right. That looks good. Well, that sounds good. I'm not looking at it, but okay. Let's check this out. Breakfast sandwiches. Yeah, Eshelby's. It's got to be the. That's got to be the butcher he's talking about. Potatoes, okay. And your sharp pudding. Should be chicken. It's good. It's like good, good uh, menu. Cafe of the year. It looks just like coffee. That's crazy. Right, my friends, okay, so here we go. We've got it here. I've got uh, brown and I've got red. And yes, it is, I've asked, it is uh, proper um, Heinz ketchup there and oh. HP sauce. Um, Wait, we've also hold on. What did you say the other soft sauce was? Oh, where's, okay, hold on. Um, Heinz ketchup there and HP sauce. Um, we've also got, and that I like. All right, I have, what did he say here? It said, HP sauce. I don't. I don't know what he was saying here. Uh, if any, if someone could let me know uh, in the comments, what sauce is this? What it, what is it made of, or what's it taste like? I like them in, in that because it's better than them blooming packets that you have. I don't like them packets. Yeah, I don't like so those packets up. either. We've got the two sausages. We've got the tomatoes there. We've got the bacon. We've got the beans, which are Branston, which I can't wait to taste because I've never had Branston beans. It's normally, uh, it's normally. Okay, I'm getting hungry now. People have, and Brampton people tell me are better. Um, so that's interesting. We've got uh, the egg there, which for me is done to perfection. We've got the toast, pre-buttered on there as well. Uh, everything looks spot on. Before I dig in, remember all. So decent sized breakfast. Local produce from the from the um, butchers next door. Take a closer look, my friends. All right, I want to get a close look at this. All right. This looks good. It does look good, man. This is a good, yeah. Play two sausages, some baked beans, mushroom, some tomato, which this is interesting. Tomato with breakfast. I mean, the beans are interesting too. I would kind of figured that was going to be on this. I'd had, I kind of heard that English breakfast had baked beans, but I wasn't quite 100% sure. I'm not sure what type of egg this is. I mean, what, like how this cooked. This bacon looks good. Um, it actually looks more like, almost like ham to me. It looks, whatever, it looks really good. Uh, toast looks nice. Little muffin. Uh, I, I would take juice instead of the tea or coffee personally. Uh, but yeah, I dig it. Absolutely dig it. Looks good. I'm getting really hungry now. Oh yeah, look close up. Yeah, that bacon looks really good. I wonder how his egg is cooked. It looks kind of it looks lightly cooked. Probably over easy. Right, okay, so I'm gonna put some pepper on. Get a little bit of pepper on the egg there. Ground black pepper on there. Um, we're gonna go in. I did milk first, by the way. Save my little bun for after. That's a, a nice little dessert. Little that is very nice. A little bit of salt, but not too much. Um, and we're gonna go. Ooh, I'll, I'll leave the, the brown and the red on the side there, then I can dip it. Okay, um, I was gonna get upset if he just tossed that sauce all over that plate. It's like, no. Uh, that's something that I definitely don't do, uh, is uh, like 
throw sauces and stuff on my food. I generally just put it to the side. Like, for example, I eat pancakes and have maple syrup. I don't like to put the maple syrup on the pancakes. I like to just, I like to dip it because otherwise it gets soggy, you know. Not the pancakes here, just saying like, I'd rather dip personally. Although, I'm trying to figure out what is he going to dip into ketchup. I, I... I mean, maybe the sausage, I suppose. I don't think I would, personally. I Is that other sauce kind of like a barbecue sauce? It kind of looks like it a little bit. Um, which, that may be pretty good. Hmm. We're going to go into the sausage first, which, as I say, you know, I think what is lovely to see around these areas is, is a proper butcher's, um, which is amazing, really. We should support local economy. Absolutely. Like I'm going to go in for the sausage. looks great. <laughs> Amazing. Straight away, you can taste. You can taste a difference. There really is a difference. I'm going to go in for the Brunston beans now as well. Go for the Brunston. Now, oh my. I've never, as far as I know anyway, had Brunston beans. And I've got to say, a lot of people have said they're better than Heinz. And they have got a proper, oh man, they are nice. And again, you can tell that the beans are actually cooked in a pan because they've got that consistency as well. We've got the mushrooms there as well, and we've got the bacon, the egg for me, done to perfection. Let's close in on this egg and break, break the yolk there and let's uh, have a look at this. Oh yeah, that's, whoa, yeah, that's, that's very lightly cooked. Right, the egg is absolutely perfect. As I say, we're gonna go in for the bacon now as well. No fat on the bacon, looks spot on. Yeah, that's nice. Right, I'm gonna eat this and then I'll come back to you and we'll mark it out of 10. Don't forget, I want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well on looks alone, so get your pencils at the ready. I'm a little bit jealous right now because I'm getting really hungry. <laughs> That's interesting. Eh, never mind. <laughs> All right, guy. <laughs> okay. There we go. So, yeah, that looks like a kind of like a, some sort of barbecue sauce. Polished that plate off. <laughs> now dessert. There we go, Old Booth Tea Rooms as voters, number one, Britain's best full English breakfast as voted by her indoors. Uh, <laughs> um, indoors. Sarah. If I was, I don't have, I don't have any way to kind of judge what a full English breakfast should look like other than that, really. Um, so I can't, I couldn't obviously rate it. Plus I'm not tasting it. So, but looking at it, I would say I would absolutely enjoy that meal. It looks really good. Um, yeah, what do you say? I think I would really enjoy a full English breakfast. Who you never actually really see. Although we've gone through all that. Anyway, let's get down to business. Absolutely gorgeous. And I know lots of you are asking, Branston, come on, are they better than Heinz? And I've got to say, Did 
Yeah, just by a little teeny weeny little bit. Yeah, they are, yeah, they are. They are, and you can tell they were done in a pan because of that consistency. Never like microwave beans. Those yeah, beans definitely no. not microwaved. Don't do the anything meats, microwave. The sausages, the bacon. First class. Obviously, it's from a local butcher's. And as I said, I think we should be supporting local businesses like Absolutely. this. Absolutely. It come to a total it's of awesome. £8.40. Now, I think that is an absolute... That's great. £8.40. Uh, is that including the tea and the, and the muffin as well? That's not bad. That's really not bad at all. Absolute bargain for what you got with yeah. it as well. With the tea, the little bun as well. By the way, yeah, there was a so, surprise wow. in the bun. It was like lemon or something in the middle. I don't know what it was, but it was absolutely gorgeous. Finished off the full English perfectly. And uh, tea out of a teapot as well. Um, I've got to say, um, Sarah, if you're watching, yeah, it's a, it's a 10. It's a 10. It is absolutely spot on. Old booze tea rooms, I've got to say. Lots of parking around here as well, free parking. Um, so literally, actually, funnily enough, her indoors has just pulled up over the road. Her indoors. She picked me up. I won't get her in it. Um, but um, old booze tea rooms, lots of parking around here. Um, highly recommend it. It's in Pudsey, in Leeds. Come and visit them. They're absolutely lovely in there as well. Um, the lady came out and she said, is everything all right, is everything all right? I said, yeah, it's absolutely fine, it's perfect. The egg was done to perfection. It was all amazing. Anyway, I'm not gonna wax <laughs> lyrical about it anymore because <laughs> if her indoors says it's the best. Her indoors daily wants an arm and a leg. Full English breakfast in Britain then it certainly is. I'm not going to argue with the Yorkshire lass. Anyway, that's all from me today. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, click that like for me and for her indoors. Her indoors. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm coming. Wow. Um, that that looked really, really good. Um, I, I definitely, that would be a place I would definitely uh, try if I was in the area. Um I, I don't really know anything about Leeds. I'm have to look that place up because, uh, you know, I would definitely, if I'm in Leeds, yay, now I know a place I can stop to get a good English breakfast. Unless someone recommends somewhere that may be better. I don't know. This is the first place I'm seeing. So, uh, but it, does, it looks good. I, I love the idea of the baked beans uh, with breakfast. That's interesting to me. I know people have said that baked beans are slightly different in the UK. Maybe they're less sweet. doesn't bother me. I don't like overly sweet baked beans. I like it, you know, a little kind of, uh, kind of half, kind of half tomatoey, half sweet. I don't know if I can really describe what I mean there, but, um, you know, the toast look great buttered, the, the local meat, you know, the, the sausage and the bacon looked excellent. Um, question though, do all English breakfast breakfasts always look, have like the sausage, the bacon, the egg, the toast, the, uh, baked beans, um, the tomato, the mushrooms, is that always 100% of the time? If, so, if something's called full English breakfast, it's always has those foods or do sometimes they substitute, like for example, some areas substitute the mushroom for, I don't know, bell pepper or something like that. Just curious, like. Is it is the full English breakfast everywhere across the UK going to have the same ingredients? And also, do you generally get some sort of muffin or something like that with with the full English breakfast, or is that just certain areas like this this tea house place right here was uh you know included with their meal? Um, and I'm also curious. This place allowed you to choose coffee, tea, or fruit juice. Um, so definitely interested, uh, do you generally have the option to choose other beverages besides just tea? Um, you know, I, I don't really have any experience with like, actually, I think people, no, it's not a thing. I know people in the UK thoroughly, like really enjoy tea. To me, tea is like, I don't know if I've ever, I, I don't think I've ever had, no, it's not just think. I know I've never had tea the way you guys in the UK drink tea. Generally for me, uh, I, I generally don't drink much tea. I drink herbal tea quite often for to help with sleep or whatever, but I know that's not 
the tea that you guys are drinking with breakfast and whatnot and putting milk into into and things. Um, I would definitely give it a go to see see if I liked it. It looked very interesting. Look, when you put the milk in there, it made the tea look almost like coffee. Uh, it made it look rich. Um, but I'm not really, I've never been, um, how do I put this? I'm just not a beverage person, really. I I generally don't really drink many beverages, um, you know, from time to time. But generally speaking, I drink water all day. Occasionally, I drink a little bit of juice with breakfast, very rarely. But uh, I don't drink coffee. Uh, so, and it's not that I don't like coffee. Uh, you know, this is kind of a little, nothing to do with this video, but it just reminded me that um, the best coffee I ever had was in Bali, Indonesia. Um, I can't remember what it is, Luwak coffee. And uh, it's kind of gross once I figured out what it was, but um, but it was, it was so delicious. Such a great coffee, uh, wonderful. Um, but I've never just, just never, uh, did coffee. I really don't, I don't like to consume a ton of caffeine. Um, a little bit here or there is okay, but, um, not really a big caffeine person personally. Um, but yeah, but that, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this place looked cute. Definitely the type of place I'd like to stop by. Please let me know if you've actually been to this actual place and what you think of their full English breakfast. And also, uh, let me know if you recommend other places that may have even better full English breakfast. And like I said, I'm curious if this is how all full English breakfasts look or if maybe they're different in different areas of the UK. Um, but otherwise, guys, I guess that's it for me today. Thank you for stopping by. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or other things you think I might want to check out. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell notification icon to be notified when I put out new videos. Thank you so much for stopping by, guys. Peace.